here. Because we're talking philanthropy, that's why. May is National Cancer Research Month, and, and you can help donate to, uh, to, to the research effort. Groundbreaking cancer research is being done right now here in Portland. Joining me now, Lori Kelly. She's president and chief development officer, um, Providence Foundations of Oregon, and Dr. Brian Bell, medical director, Providence Oral Head and Neck Cancer Program. So, so tell me, how far have we come so far in, in cancer research? Well, it's a very exciting time, Brian. Uh, at, at Providence, for more than 25 years now, we've been focused on uh, boosting the immune response to fight cancer. And it turns out that that's one of the most exciting things uh, currently in, uh, in treatment. And that's called uh, uh, immunotherapy, right? right? That's what you guys have been doing. And people think this is just, just happening now, but you guys have been doing it for a long time. And when we were talking in the, um, during the break, you said that this has been going on for at least 100 years. That's right. And for a long time, nobody thought it would work. Then all of a sudden, a few years ago, researchers at Providence developed a, a trial that showed for the first time improvement in survival for patients with metastatic melanoma, which had never been shown before. Wow, that is incredible. Lori, you're on the philanthropy side. Right. And this mm -hmm. it's so important for, for um, us to like give back and donate because there's so many of our loved ones are suffering from. Well, absolutely, and philanthropy is really driving the research efforts at Providence. In fact, 70% of all the research that we do is only done because of the research or the monies that we've gotten from th philanthropy. And this has just been an incredible um, boost to what's going on in immunotherapy across the world. And you guys are doing a lot for, with, with philanthropy. And Dr. Bell, you were at Safeway? Do we have a clip <laughs> of that? <laughs> Dr. Bell at Safeway bagging groceries? What were you doing there? Well, um, oh, there you are. Uh, <laughs> yeah. you, you, you've got the moves, that's we, for sure. Yeah, he almost beat. He almost won. I, I think. Oh, this is the contest that you were having. Yes. Yeah. How absolutely. much money did you guys raise there at, at the Safeway? Oh, we, we're we're in the middle of that right now. Oh, you're in so, the So yes, of it. it's the pin pad program at Safeway, and so anytime you go to a Safeway or Albertsons during the month of May, all through Oregon, you get an option to donate. Yes, and so we're really hoping that people will do that. Uh, we have a great um, initiative here this this month too. We have the, our Creating Hope dinner, and we're really hoping for a million dollar May with the Safeway. Um, pin pad program and also with our great fundraiser. That's a great seven figure, uh, seven figure donation. Somebody make that donation, please. <laughs> yeah, when you get your eggs, just add a little bit to it. Can you tell me a little bit more about immunoth immunotherapy? It's your cells that are fighting. I mean, could you help us out a little bit with that, doctor? Sure. So we're developing new ways to harness the immune system so that it not only recognizes but kills cancer cells. And this is an entirely new way to think about cancer and in fact to treat cancer and it's really been shown to improve outcomes for patients. One of the things that we're doing now is not only treating patients with advanced cancer because we know we have to move it out of that phase and move it into the earliest stages of cancer so we can eradicate and even prevent cancers in the future. Gosh, we hope so, right? Yeah. Br Brian, one other thing I wanted to note too is that we have over 100 people working in cancer research at Providence and we also have a, about an average um, on any given time of 150 clinical trials going. And so I don't think a lot of people know that and it's really important. A lot of those are happening because of philanthropy and um, doctors like Dr. Bell and Dr. Erba and so many others. So it's super just, important to donate. And, and there's a couple of ways that we can go about there's actually a slew of ways oh, that yeah. you can go about doing but mm -hmm. but one of them is that you guys can go to your, your website correct yes we have a, a website just for cancer called finish finishcancer.org and we had a campaign around that a couple years ago and we really thought that was a great tagline and it stuck and so go to finishcancer.org and you can make a donation um, you can look on the providence foundation's website there's all kinds of ways to go but co go to safeway too. and the only way you, you can fight cancer is through research and and you need the funds for research yes absolutely well, Brian might know a little bit more about that uh, through the funding uh, because he's been doing this a little bit longer than I have. How many years are we talking, Doc? <laughs> well, for me, it's been tw 17 or so, but we've got people that have been working on this for 25, even 30 years, and doing it at a time when nobody believed that, uh, that you could harness the power of the immune system, and, and now it, it's coming into reality. So. Well, I'm glad you guys came in on the show. You know, sometimes Thank we have you. like food and whatnot here, and this is like a nice little break, and it's good to talk about um, philanthropy and also uh, cancer research. Can't thank you guys enough. Thank Doctor. you. Thank and Lori, it's hey, so cool. Thank you. It's yeah, so yeah, nice cool. to meet you. Welcome and and do yourself a favor. Donate by going to Safeway. It's it's helping out a great cause. It's, it's philanthropy. It's all about giving back and making sure we have enough funds for cancer research. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>